Hello guys, welcome to Microsoft Academy. So in today's tutorial on practical physics, I'll be teaching you guys graphical analysis. Now, after our experiments, we tend to get what we call data, okay? And these data are the values we get from our experiments, okay? Now, these data are put into tabular form, which we call the table of value. Now, merely looking at the table of value, it do not convey much information about the physical laws or how the physical laws are demonstrated, okay? Because these physical laws tends to give us the relationship between two or more variables. So, a graph conveys more information than a table of value we do. So, a good graph will give us more information about the physical laws and how they are what demonstrated just at a glance. All right, now we have different types of, of graph. So we are dividing this graph into two types. We have the straight line graph. We have the curved graph now under your curve graph we have different types of curve graph we have the parabola or we can say the quadratic graph curve graph then we have the hyperbola curved graph and finally we have the exponential graph so these are the different types of graph that we have so we are not going to stress on them i already made a tutorial video that explains this very well okay so now let us look at something else how to plot a good graph how to plot a what a good graph so now this is very important because a lot of students have problem with plotting graphs okay so i will tell you some vital things that you need to know while plotting what graph okay now the first thing you consider before plotting the graph or you do is to tie to the graph okay you have to what tie to the graph now let's say you are plotting a graph of t square against L okay where T is the period L is the what is the length okay now you will want to also put the unit for these variables okay because T can mean anything all right then your L can also what mean anything or any quantity all right now you, the first thing you do is to title the graph then the next thing you do is to choose a scale. Now your scale can be one centimeter to represent two units. Okay, one centimeter to represent what? Two units. Now this means that for every one centimeter, we have what? Two units. Let's say we have something like this. From this point here, we have another point here, another one here. From year to year is one centimeter, right? Year to year is two centimeter, three centimeter, and so on. Now, since we have say one centimeter to represent two units, that means from this point, which is the origin, to this point here is two units, okay? Then from this point to this point will be what? Four units, which the difference here is just what? Two units. Alright, so that continues, you have six what units. 
So that is a skill. So a skill will help you to know how to make your your points fit into all your points fit into the one the graph. All right. So I've made a tutorial video on how to choose your scale. Okay. So you can check out that video on how to choose a scale. All right. Now the next thing you will want to do is to draw the you draw your y axis and your x axis or you draw your vertical axis and your what, horizontal axis okay so the next thing you want to do is to also name these axis according to what experiment or what you are plotting okay so that you can write t square here against your what, your length okay so you also want to put the unit here which is second square and here to the centimeter okay according to what you are what your experiment that you are performing now once you are done with the y axis and the x axis now the next thing should be your points fitting in your point in the graph okay now i've also made a tutorial video that will help you to know how to fit in your points along with choosing your what your scale now let's say we have fixed in our point this way so these are the data points we are able to fit in okay now the after this let's say this is a straight line graph for a straight line graph in such a way that we can draw a straight line here that we pass through at least many points as possible and also the points that will not enter into that straight line will be very close to the what to the straight line all right so that line that we draw is what we call the line of best fit we call it the line of best fit Okay, we call it the line of what? Best fit. So this line, let's say we draw a line. Let's now look at this. Okay, we can pick this point and this point, right? Such a way that uh, if I draw this line to come with this one here, okay, we have something like this, right? Good. So this is the point for this, and this is the point for this. In such a way that these points they are not that far from this other straight line here if we are to take the line maybe this point and this point and draw this way you see that this point here and this point here they are very far okay if you were to draw it down this way so you do it in such a way that these points are relatively close to this straight line or the line of best fit okay now the next thing you will want to consider is what we call the slope okay in most questions they will ask you to find the slope of the graph and also um, find the intercept of the graph okay so the intercept of the graph let's start with the intercept so the intercept of the graph is where this straight line here cuts the y axis or the vertical axis and is at this word point so if we have divided our scale to be in this form okay such that we say one centimeter represents two units so this is two second square right this should be four second square and this should be six second square eight second square all right so now this point here where we have this line touching the vertical axis is our intercept so here our intercept let's represent our intercept we see is equal to what two okay so that is how you get your what your intercept all right now we also have the slope the slope you try to draw a triangle in such a way that it can cover about one third of the graph okay let's say we choose this point here
please don't mind my drawing okay now this is the point here it touched this point we draw down to this point and we have also this point here okay if you also trace down we have another point here and if you trace there's another point touching the y axis so the slope is giving us change in y all over change in what in x which is equal to y square minus y1 all over s square minus what x1 so that is how we calculate the what the slope all right then we have a general equation we can use y is equal to mx plus c so with this equation you can calculate the intercept of the graph okay you can also calculate the slope the slope here is m okay of that word graph so i've already made a tutorial video that will help you to do those calculations and you will see different forms of how the straight line can be represented okay and the conditions that are involved in that particular straight line all right so you see that tutorial video you can check the video out and know what we are talking about in that video all right so um i think these are the major things you need to do while plotting a graph so you try as much as possible also to make your graph to be neat okay title it very well make sure that the pencil you use or the mass set the things you use to plot your graph they are well okay okay so as not to have faint drawing in your world in your graph all right so we are going to end the tutorial here for today so see you in our next class on error analysis